the pouring rain And no matter what we go through Love will still remain So do what you want, baby You and me in the sun So reflective, so I'll take those off for now. But good morning. Hi. It's currently Monday the 23rd of May. Just gone 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. Obviously. It is the start of birthday week. So I thought I would start vlogging. I wasn't going to. I didn't have the intention. But then I feel like as soon as I think about vlogging, I should just pick up the camera. So that's exactly what I've done. Tomorrow I'm spending the day with my mum. We're gonna go to a reggae gig at Band on the Wall, which I'm really looking forward to. I forget the name of the band, but I'm sure regardless, it's reggae music, it's gonna be good. I think we're also gonna maybe spend the day in town, partly, although I don't wanna be encouraged to spend too much money, so. But we're gonna go for some nice food. Let me go back to today, actually. So I'm gonna do a short bit of yoga right now. I've been really trying to implement that back into my routine, which has been really nice. I don't do it every single day. I try not to put too much pressure on myself, but I have been doing it pretty regularly and it's been feeling really, really good. Even if I just do 10 minutes, like that's, that's good because I find that when I do yoga, it helps me to literally like breathe better. I've already done a little meditation first thing when I woke up this morning. And then at 11, I am going to head to Matt's from Agbeko because I'm going to re-record some vocals that I did for the album. I wasn't happy with my vocal take and, you know, when you record something, it's going to be going out into the world for eternity, basically. So that's pretty weird, isn't it? Like, the music that I have and everyone has on Spotify right now is going to last for forever. That makes my weird anxiety thing go a little bit crazy, but it's good, it's cool, you know? <laughs> then I've decided that I'm going to finally repot my plants. It has been a long time coming. I'm going to do it. I have the spare time today. I'm going to record, then I'm going to head straight to B&Q, get some new plant pots, get some soil slash, what's the other word I'm looking for? I forget, you know what I mean. I need to get multiple different pots. I would love to actually get like nice plant pots. To be fair, there is a TK Maxx next door, but then it's like getting into the territory of expensive. That's kind of today's goals. I'm not really setting too much stuff to do because I want this week to be super, super chill. Another thing that I did want to implement into this week was trying to get out in nature every single day. But I don't do this enough and it's really sad because when I was still living at my mum's, she had a really, she has a really nice walk near hers. Sorry, this angle is not the best. <laughs> she had a really nice walk that I would go and do pretty regularly and it took like an hour and it basically was just around all the fields and you kind of walk over the motorway and into more fields and it's, it's super, super nice and I really miss that. And since I've moved here, which was literally like a year and a half ago, can't believe I've been here for a year and a half already. I haven't been out in nature anywhere near as much as I should have and I I try not to say things like should have because then it feels like a pressure and like I've done bad because I haven't done something that I said I was gonna do. But this one gets a pass because you should be out in nature as much as possible.
just filming briefly on my phone quickly because my camera battery is charging. I couldn't find my camera charger and I said to Jamal, I was like, where is it? Because it was plugged in here and now it's not here. And he was like, I don't know, I haven't touched it. I knew he had, because it was underneath the spare bed. So Jamal, all these cats wanna do is literally go outside. That's all they asked me for. So I'm gonna wait until my camera battery's charged to give you like a bit of a haul of everything that I've just bought. It's currently like maybe like half past three. I finished recording, I wanna say around like one o'clock. Because I wasn't too far away, I went to my favorite Indian restaurant, Laziza in Longsight. If you know them, you know. And I got vegetable samosas. One thing I was actually really, look how greasy they look though. Ew. One thing I was really nervous of was I was like, I didn't ask again, like, are these veggie? I did ask him for vegetable samosas, but I was proper powers on the way, like, are these gonna be veggie? But no, they are. Thank the Lord. Mm. Those samosas from Laziza. So fucking good. I'm gonna make like a little sauce as well. I just bought some coriander and mint from the shop. So I'm gonna blend that up with some yogurt. And then when my camera actually charged, I'll show you everything that I just got from B&M and from TK Maxx. And then we're gonna get to some repotting. I'm just literally gonna like stick on a podcast or a film or something, sit down in here, lay down a bin bag and repot all my plants, which I've never done before. So this could be a fail. I'm hoping it won't be. I'll also show you all my plants that I'm gonna be repotting as well and how sad they look right now. But Pretty girl. I love you. So I'm gonna try my little, in fact, let me just try a tiny little bit. Of That's so good. Ooh. Hello. It's been about, I wanna say half an hour since my last clip that I filmed on my phone, film, that I filmed on my phone. And I'm being impatient, my battery is not fully charged, but here we are anyway. So I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I'm just gonna show you what I got because I really wanna get on with it because it's now half past four and yeah, I just wanna get on with it. So these are all of the plants that I own. Do not ask me the name of them because I have no idea. Apart from the orchid over there, apart from the aloe vera here. Yeah, I don't know what any of the rest of them are. This was like a lily, but there's not been any lilies on it for so long. This is everything that I just bought. So I bought this plant pot from TK Maxx just now. It's super nice, it was only 12 99 I bought this one from TK Maxx. This is gorgeous. I love this one. It's so like nice and textured. That one was, I think, 20 pounds. I also got this one, which is also nice and textured. This was like 10 pounds. I got this little spray thing from B&M for four pounds because I wanna spray some of the leaves on these. I just got this little trowel as well from B&M. I got this plastic looking one from b and I really liked and I was kind of sad because they didn't have any more, they only had this one. And I nearly got one that was like in like a tan color but it didn't look as nice as this one. So I was like, no, Molly, be, be specific and get things that you like. I also got these two plain white plastic ones. I got these three plain black ones and I got this big ceramic one over here. I also got this lovely rug from B&M. I always get tempted by the rugs at B&M and I gave in today and I got this little one which I'm gonna put in my front room so I'll show you that later. And then I got this big multi-purpose compost which I hope is gonna be all right for um, indoor plants. So we'll see. <sighs> so I have not much clue what I'm doing, if I'm being totally honest. And I'm pretty sure, do all plants need drain holes? I'm gonna Google this. Hey Siri, do all indoor plants need drain holes? 
I might just drill some holes in these. The only thing that's going to be annoying about this is when I do water them, I'm going to have a lot of water coming out the bottom. Maybe I'm just going to have to make a point of taking all of these and putting them in the bath and watering them there and then putting them back where they belong. <laughs> I don't think this is like the right setting, maybe. Okay, it's definitely not fucking that. So I did actually manage to drill a hole in this. I nearly gave up and I started researching how to plant pots without drainage because I was like, well, I don't want to wait. I'm impatient, so I want to do it right now. But I decided to persevere and this one worked. I managed to drill holes in this. So I was like, let me just give this one another go and it worked. So that's good. I don't have the patience to sit and research each individual plant and what they require. I'm just going to hope for the best and hope for the best. Some people are probably screaming at me right now, but I don't really care. Um, so yeah, sorry. I probably should have put like an outfit that I don't really mind getting like super messy, but that's okay. But it's so dry, that's so bad. So that is number one. look at whilst I was out was a proper watering can that has like the little circles so that it's not just like a massive load of water going in so I do need to go get one of those but this is just gonna have to do for now. I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of all the plants where I've put them. This baby has stayed in the same place. This was here before. I did have two plants on like each side, but it's just, it looks way too messy to have two here now. I don't love that they're like black. I'm actually kind of regretting getting black. I kind of wish I got the brown ones, but I don't know. I think when they're brown and plastic, they just look a bit cheap. So at least they just look a bit, you know, they look a bit more sophisticated. This baby has come to live here. This was on my desk upstairs, but because I've put them all in such bigger pots, they all needed to be rehomed in different places. So this has come here, which I do really like. This one has literally just come here because I can't find another place for it, especially again, because it's black. It doesn't really work anywhere else, but I'm not mad at like, ooh, I'm not mad at how that looks. It looks all right, you know? It would be nice if there was like a falling one on that side, but never mind. This has stayed here. This was always here. It's just in this big ceramic pot and I can't really find another place for my lily. Uh, sorry not Lily orchid I want to keep her in like direct sunlight and she was there before where that one was so I want to keep her really in here 
where she can get some sunlight and thrive. So she's just gonna stay there. For now, that plant pot was there before and had that one in, but obviously it needed to be a little bit bigger. So the front room, I have put the aloe vera there, which was just on the other side before. That's just a little fake plant that Jamal bought for us. And then I put my actual favorite plant and plant pot here, which is the snake plant. And I just think it looks really nice there. Can you move? So yeah, I really love the way that this little section looks now. And also when you sit, I'll come up. Oh, this is the rug, by the way, that I got. It's really small, but I really like it. It gives it a nice little feel. I also have this one over here, so it's a bit contrasting, but I like rugs. I also just love the look of like all the plants at the sides of the TV. Although I don't, I really like symmetry and I don't love how low that side is compared to that side, but it is what it is. Moving on to the bathroom, I have put this one in the same place that it was before, just with this black and white. It looks really realistic, but it's actually plastic, and I really like that about this one. What I did with this is just cut the middle section out that was really dead, because the leaves still like feel okay. I just gave them all a bit of a dust. Clearly didn't do a very good job on this one. I think this is also probably one of my favorites. I love this plant pot so much. I actually kind of would rather have it somewhere a little bit more where it can thrive. I also need to make sure that these aren't like pressed too close to the wall. I probably need to readjust that a little bit, but I think it suits the, the bathroom vibe quite well. So I'm not mad at that. I only actually brought this plant back into the spare room just because it doesn't, I feel bad, but it obviously doesn't look that great. We're not really in here that often. Well, I'm not. Jamal's in here all day, every day, pretty much. But I just didn't really feel like this one was gonna fit anywhere else. So she's just gonna stay in the corner over there and hopefully get some more love. You're wrong. Hello, gorgeous boy. One of my other favorite plants, which is quite large for where it is, but this plant now belongs here, which is kind of like next to my mirror where I get ready, and it has all my jewelry, skincare, etc. There, I really like it there. And yeah, that's all the plants. So that was my repotting day. I, again, like I said, I do not know what I was doing. I hope all of them survive where they are and in the pots that they've been put in so i'll give you guys an update at some point in the future if i remember i do need to find somewhere else to put this pampas grass though because i wanted to switch it up a little bit so i need to find a home for that somewhere i don't have a lot of space in my house i remember back in the day i just always looked forward to having my own space so i could like decorate it and I think I went a little bit crazy over the years of just like buying loads of stuff. And now I'm in my house and I don't have like an overwhelming amount of stuff, but I do have to stop myself from buying like little knickknacks and house ornaments because it just gets a bit too much and I really don't like the cluttered vibe. So yeah, that's me done for today. I'm just gonna wash the few dishes that are downstairs, light some incense. I've been listening to Shits and Gigs podcast the whole afternoon and it's very funny but sometimes very intense very crude <laughs> but very funny so i think i'm gonna put like a nice relaxing playlist on or listen to like a less stressful podcast but i'm feeling a bit more music now but my mom just texted me actually and said that the gig we were supposed to go to tomorrow has been cancelled and i'm really sad i think it's something to do with the fact that they can't get their visas sorted you're currently balanced in lacy's bed and she's about to jump up here so i'm just gonna yeah, she was like, Mum, can you move that, please? So I'm really sad. So I think we're going to try and see if there's anything on at the Manchester Jazz Festival, which is um, on for quite a few days. And yeah, that's going to be me for the evening. So I don't know if I'll pick you back up today. Hope you have enjoyed the vlog so far.